The focus of this lesson is creating congruent statements. Now a congruent statement is sort of a, a, a mathematical way of saying the same thing that this diagram right here now tells us. And this diagram right here tells us that this triangle over here on the left hand side in red is congruent to the triangle on the right hand side in blue. And that's pretty easy to do if you have a diagram but sometimes you're not in a position to draw a diagram to convey the information. So we need to be able to describe the same information mathematically or using letters. Now, the first thing we need to know before we can sort of compare this thing from a congruent statement point of view is that there are different ways to describe each of these triangles, of course. If I were to start with my left-hand triangle over here, I could describe it as triangle DEF by going around in this direction here. and describing the triangle, or I could describe it as triangle DFE by going around in the opposite direction. I'm sorry, D, yeah, DFE, or I could describe it as triangle FED going around the same direction as before, only starting in the lower left-hand corner, and so on. There's a number of ways to describe this triangle as long as I talk about the three sides in the, in the correct order, and I describe all three sides, or all three angles. Now I can do the same thing with the blue triangle, of course, over here. This one could be triangle ABC. This could be triangle ACB. It could be triangle CBA. And so on and so forth. When we're talking about a congruent statement, we have to make sure that we describe each of the triangles from the same point of view or in the same order. So in other words, if I were going to say that triangle the red triangle, DEF, was congruent to the blue triangle, ABC, I'd want to make sure that I was using the same three points of reference in the same order. So if I say triangle DEF, then I'm going around in this sort of clockwise direction starting on top. So I'm starting with the angle that's above, or to the right of, if you like, the square, the square corner, the right, hand, the, uh, right angle. So then I say DEF is congruent to the other triangle. I want to do the same thing with the other triangle. I want to start with that same angle, relatively speaking. So in other words, the corresponding angle. So on this one, I would also say A, B, C. So I'm still going in the same direction and around the same sort of uh, description of the triangle. That tells me, as I'm looking at this information, that D corresponds to A and F corresponds to C, and so on and so forth. It also tells me that DE, the side, DE, from here to here, corresponds to AB, the side from here to here. So then I know that these two sides are also congruent. So as we're looking through the example problems, we want to keep in mind that this reference, this way of writing out a congruent statement, is very important. There's actually a lot more information here in this statement than it appears originally. It doesn't just tell us that the two triangles are congruent. It tells us what parts of the two triangles are congruent, specifically which angle is congruent to which other angle in the other triangle. So we're going to use that a lot in our example questions here in just a moment.